What's up, everybody? It's B Sneeze. This is going to be a little bit more of an un informal uh, video where I kind of just talk at you what it kind of was originally. Um, but yeah, I am feeling pretty good about where I'm at. Um, I had a rough like couple weeks, but um, I feel like I'm on the up and up. The Animal Crossing series I started has been honestly really therapeutic. Um, to just, like, spend some time and hang out with the villagers for, like, 30 minutes each day. Uh, it's been really nice. Um, and it's not like 30 minutes is some crazy time commitment. And usually it, I don't edit much at all. Um, so it's been nice. And, um, yeah, I, I, I just feel good. Uh, I, I'm finally back starting school again. So, uh that's that, that's nice and then um yeah just just keeping up with my studies um I've been pretty busy honestly I've, I've worked a lot so I'm making the dough but um I and my mental health was really bad um so my body was not used to working 40 hour weeks I was it I was at that for a while and I was like you know what I'm going to prioritize um, being sound mentally. <laughs> um, so I, I budgeted that usually, but it's nice to get the extra extra moolah this week um, because I need it for Japan. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really pumped uh, to uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to be able to put a lot towards Japan this paycheck, hopefully, unless something knock on wood. Um, if my car goes wrong or something. Um, so yeah, everything's good, truly. Um, this is probably going to even be that long of an episode, but, um, I, I already plugged it a little bit earlier, but, uh, I, I highly recommend, I'm actually legitimately proud of my Animal Crossing series. I kind of like gave up on my Let's Play dream and it's not like I plan on this being like my thing. Um, but I, I just like doing things. <laughs> um, I feel like the kind of person I am, I need to always be making things and that's what I'm doing this year. I've made these videos. I've made, uh, the animal crossing stuff. I've made the, um, you know, I'm making, I'm making music. It's not like legit music. It's jokes, but, uh, I'm making music. I'm, learning a language I'm working out consistently I got a little bit of a little bit of muscle on me um not a lot but <laughs> I can see it kind of if I really flex I can kind of see it I still look like a noodle but it's okay um so yeah I, I feel pretty decent um I uh I'm just I just gotta keep keep pushing I gotta I, I realized how important it was to kind of remind myself of my goals um, because it's, it's easy to lose track of what your end goal is. And I have struggled so much recently wanting to just fall back into my usual routine of working 40 hours a week and then getting home and playing video games all the time. Um, but it's not like I've stopped playing video games completely, but I need to do what I need to do first, um, before all the other stuff. Cause I've deleted so many apps off my phone that have just been time sucks. Um, like social media. Um, I feel like I'm pretty decent with YouTube because I only really use it. Um, I mean, in the, I, I, I guess it does a little bit of a time suck, but I also use it a lot to just like have something on in the background. Like I'm listening to Game Grumps while I'm like playing games and stuff like that. Or just like, like I, I put Game Grumps on in the background while I'm driving and stuff like that. So, um, I use YouTube a lot for, like, I don't think it's toxic, but my relationship with Instagram definitely is because I've, like, it's so easy for me to get into the routine of, like, when I am putting something off, I feel, I immediately, like, go to check my phone and go, like, scroll Instagram, but when I know I need to be doing something more productive, um, so I've, I've gotten off Instagram completely. Um, because I've realized my relationship was with it wasn't very healthy, but 
it's also a kind of a double-edged sword because I lose contact with a lot of people. Um, and I want to make friends before I go to Japan this year because I want to have a, like, I, I'm already meeting my, my, like, one friend and there's a good chance I'll be meeting uh, Jason because he might be uh, uh, teaching in Japan while I'm there. So I'm already meeting some people, but, and, and then, like, David and um, my friends I made and my prior trips and stuff like that or my prior trip I should say um but uh and I know I'll meet people I'm over there but especially when I'm in Tokyo I really want like a group of people to um do like the Halloween stuff with because I don't really want to do that alone I feel like that's not something I should be I should do alone um but I want to do it like I really want to do it I just don't have um I don't have the the people who are gonna go out and do that so and unfortunately, all my friends aren't uh, as crazy as I am and want to buy it. <laughs> uh, I, I say unfortunately, but they're sane. They don't spend uh, all that money on a Japan trip when they uh, probably have things that are a little more important. Um, but to me, it is it is extremely important. And it's been pretty much the entire focus of this channel. So obviously, um, the money's going towards... Uh, something that matters and means a lot to me it's not I'm not just spending it on CDs or I'm still buying CDs don't get me wrong but I'm, it's not going towards like video games all the time it's not going towards like um, short-term stuff it's like I, I'm I'm putting my money aside I'm saving it and I'm using it towards something that will help me grow um, as a Japanese learner and as a human um, 40 days in another country or another two countries maybe um, is going to be insane and I know um, I'm going to come out of it like my dad said in a couple episodes ago I'm I'm going to be a different person at the end of the trip um, and you know I'm, I'm gonna find a lot I'm, I'm find out a lot about myself I'm gonna have a lot of alone time as much as I'm gonna meet up with people and try to meet people I'm gonna have a lot of time to myself just seeing things and I'm super pumped for that um, and I'm super pumped to record and interview people and bring you guys along with me um, virtually. Um, it's it, it's going to be really cool because I know, like, a lot of my family follows this and they're interested in, like, what even Japan is like. I mean, people see, like, stuff on Instagram, but my goal is to showcase just the travel aspect, the... Um, you know, going to convenience stores. I love convenience stores. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do so many convenience stores hauls. I'm gonna do so many. Like I I plan on documenting. I'm not gonna be crazy about it. I'm not gonna be like, hey guys, I'm walking down the street. Like I, I'm going to take in the moment. That is my number one priority when I'm there is to appreciate the moment, take in the moment. Um, I'm not gonna be like thinking about making content the entire time. That is not my goal. But um, I do want to make it something that I do while I'm there, um, making like interviewing people that I meet or interviewing whoever. Um, I already plan on interviewing Jason and interviewing David um, and interviewing all these people while I'm there. So um, I think that'll be really cool to uh, work on and... Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm just uh, really pumped. I'm really, I'm really excited to see what happens. And I'm really excited to see what this channel, um, like what direction this channel goes in. Because um, I want to do so much right now. I'm so motivated to work um, and make, create and make things. Um, and uh, it is because of you guys that I am motivated to keep working. Um, and even if I get uh, one view on my Animal Crossing videos, or even if I get five views on this video, um, it's not going to deter me. That has deterred me in the past, but it's not going to deter me because I have a goal in mind, and I, um, I feel like Naruto, like, you know, like in in the original show, like, I, I am very stubborn about my goals right now and I will not let anybody tell me what I can and cannot do I will not let anyone kill my vibe um and I will be very selective with the kind of people that I choose to let into my life 
um and that's not a bad thing like I, i'm not i'm not some like closed off like like i don't talk to anybody like i'm very like talkative i'm very social like every anyone knows me knows um but at the same time like you need to be you need to be careful with who you who you trust who you like really consider your close friends and i i feel like i have a good support system i have um some friends that i really consider to be good friends but i've also made a lot of uh tough decisions i made a lot of realizations that maybe these friends aren't um you know who like who i trusted them to be i put all this effort into them and then you know um so it, it's just all a process of growing up and being an adult and learning who you are um and who other people are and sometimes people don't mesh and that's fine uh it's not a negative thing it's just people like doesn't make them a bad person doesn't make you a bad person you're just on two different paths you know um so yeah i i don't know i i've uh i've been really happy with the the progress i've made and um I'm really happy to, uh, that I, I'm really optimistic about the future. So um, I am excited to bring you guys along with me. That's been the entire thing of this video. And this video is going to sound like I'm beating a dead horse because I feel like I've said all of this a million times. But um, I am truly grateful to everybody and I'm very excited to get more people on. I plan on having more interviews. I'm planning on, you know, um, having more people on and uh, whoever that will be next, um, I'm very excited to have them on and I'm very excited to introduce you guys to them, um, or introduce themselves to themselves. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love you guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I truly, uh, hope the best. So thank you for watching as always. Bye-bye. I forgot to do song and album of the day. Um, so, uh, the, the, the album of the day is, uh, oh, uh, I might butcher this, Kamasi Washington, the epic. He has a new album coming out soon. Um, it's cool jazz. It's really good. It's newer. It's got that new twist on it, but it's really, really good. I highly recommend it. Uh, song of the day is, uh, Everything is Beautiful by Hiatus Coyote. Everything is Beautiful by Hiatus Coyote. Check those two out. Peace.